What's up weirdo, Shade Tree Surgeon here, and today we're gonna combine three of my favorite things. Motorcycles, movies, and pissing people off. Just like many other YouTubers, one of the whole reasons I got into making videos in the first place was born out of a passion for films. And if you're familiar with my videos, the passion for motorcycles is pretty obvious, as is the passion for pissing people off. Now what you might not know about me is that my desire to ride motorcycles in the first place came from seeing them in movies. For some reason, a lot of people don't like to admit that about themselves, but I do it freely. One of the main reasons I got on the back of a motorcycle in the first place was just that they look so cool in the movies. And there's always some holier than thou nerd virgin who'll say something like, well if you got into motorcycles because they look cool, then you got into them for the wrong reasons. Give me a break, dude. If you really think that, then it's probably going to take major surgery to remove that stick from your ass. And second off, if you're really going to stick to your guns, if you really want to say that the thought of looking cool on a motorcycle never even entered your head one time, well, you go ahead and have fun with that, chief. But to quote old Billy himself, the writer doth protest too much, methinks. I digress. The connections between Hamlet and Sons of Anarchy notwithstanding, let's move on to something a little bit more modern. Today's time Topic is the five greatest motorcycle movies of all time, according to you. As usual with these videos, I posted this question to all my Instagram and Facebook followers. Huge thanks to everybody that participated there, y'all the real MVPs. This was definitely a little bit of a tricky question because were we asking what was the best motorcycle movies of all time or what was the best motorcycle to ever appear in a movie for any length of time? And really it was neither because what I asked people to do is list what movies inspired them the most to ride motorcycles in the first place. And while there was a very clear and rather unsurprising winner when I tallied all the votes, the fact that we were all young, dumb, and impressionable when we first saw motorcycles in movies led to some pretty hilarious confessions. One of my favorites being Suburban Delinquent's vote for Vanilla Ice's magnum opus remake of Rebel Without a Cause, Cool as Ice. Seeing how Sub D is still riding a GSXR to this day, I'd say he's living out those childhood fantasies just fine. And as long as we're discussing the finer points of cheese, Stone Cold, starring the boss himself, made it way closer than you might think to breaking into that top five. Rounding out the rest of the charcuterie plate with more than a few votes was Fled with its onboard computers. Tires. Ducati Dragons, top speed 180 miles an hour. Best of all, it's got an onboard computer. Chuck Norris and his rocket launcher equipped Suzuki in Delta Force. <laughs> the purple one himself and his matching Honda Matic. Don't get my seat all wet. Even a nod to the eponymous hot patootie meatloaf in Rocky Horror Picture Show. No matter how cheesy the answer, you can't hate it, man. These are movies from our childhood, scenes that stuck with us and made us want to ride. It's why, even though I personally don't like Sons of Anarchy, I still think it's an absolutely amazing show because it inspired so many people to get on a bike. My own personal number one, Akira, didn't break the top five, although I was always way more fascinated with the clown's cruisers than I was with Kaneda's futuristic sport bike. Bruce Willis riding into the proverbial sunset on Zed's FXR, the Lost Boys and Cobra Kai terrorizing the streets on their Enduros, and of course the Dirt Bike Kid round out my own personal top five. But this isn't about my list, this is about the movies that you guys picked, so let's get into it. First off, I want to give honorable mentions to The Wild One and The Great Escape. They both received a whole lot of votes and came pretty close to breaking into the top five. They're both 
amazing movies, and I really think that they only failed to make the top five because of the age of my audience. While I'm sure more than a few of my viewers remember seeing those movies in the theaters, I think that most of my audience, just like myself, experienced their formative years in the 80s and 90s. I certainly respect those movies and enjoyed them both as an adult. Adult, but there was no way I was watching Brando in black and white when there were supersonic cycles gunning down bad dudes with machine guns. Coming in at number 5, although I really did think it would score higher, is Mad Max. Mad Max is almost, and that's a very important almost, it's almost in a class of its own. Because not only did it inspire a ton of people to ride, it also inspired an entire genre of custom motorcycles. While Goose and Toe Cutter's KZ-1000s from the first Mad Max movie were certainly badass, it's Wes's insane Z900 from the Road Warrior that really started a movement. Just calling something a Mad Max bike already paints a picture in your head. Post-apocalyptic turbocharged nightmare machines, come on man, who could see that as a kid and not want to ride? And now even today the whole post-apocalyptic rat bike scene is pretty much driven by what Mad Max did. By the time Fury Road came out, the motorcycle designs were almost a parody of themselves, but that didn't make them any less cool. Coming in at number 4 is the iconic GPZ 900 from Top Gun. Fitting that it came in right above Mad Max because the GPZ was Kawasaki's replacement for the KZ-1000. Even without Maverick racing fighter jets on this thing, this was already the bike that was thumbtacked on a whole lot of kids walls. And the fact that Tom Cruise was riding one to go nail Kelly McGillis, well, that was just icing on the cake. Taking the bronze is Mickey Rourke's Black Death FXR from Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man. Definitely not your standard FXR, especially by today's standards. Struts in the rear, stretched and raked in the front, dripping with chrome, this bike is kind of a perfect time capsule of what a tough guy Harley chopper looked like in the 90s. To be honest, the movie itself doesn't really stand up to an adult's eyes, but I was mesmerized by it as a kid. And that ending scene with Mickey Rourke riding off with the hitchhiker was proof positive, you know, in my young mind at least, that motorcycles will 100% get you laid. Taking second place, no motorcycle movie list would be complete without Terminator 2. Now while there was motorcycles in almost every other Terminator movie, none of them come even close to how awesome bikes were in T2. Every scene featuring a motorcycle in that movie is absolutely iconic. From Arnold stepping out of the biker bar in full leather and peeling out on that Harley fat boy to what was arguably one of the greatest chase scenes ever filmed in the LA River. For a movie that isn't about motorcycles at all, you can't think of Terminator 2 and not think motorcycles. And while Arnie's fat boy certainly stole the show in Terminator, the bike that I really lusted after as a kid was John Connor's dirt bike. When he takes off on that little two-stroke with GNR blasting on the boombox to go bomb the streets of LA, that was everything I wanted as a kid. Total rebellious freedom on the back of a dirt bike, that scene stuck with me for a very long time. And taking the podium to nobody's surprise is Easy Rider. Remember when I said before that Mad Max is almost in a class of its own for inspiring an entire genre of bikes? Well, Easy Rider did it first. While those two panheads, Captain America and Billy's bike, certainly didn't invent the chopper style of motorcycle, they did bring it to the masses. The amount of people that that movie not only inspired to ride, but also inspired to build motorcycles is absolutely staggering. And when you also take into account the endless other motorcycles
motorcycle movies that Easy Rider inspired, and all the people that those movies inspired to ride, pretty much the internal combustion engine is the only thing that's done more for motorcycles in America than Easy Rider has. Even though it's not my personal number one because it wasn't a movie from my childhood, I certainly cannot argue for a second that it doesn't 100% deserve the top spot on this list. It's also worth mentioning, I think, that Easy Rider is way more than just a motorcycle movie. This movie defined a generation. It's an absolutely beautiful film. The hippie revolution of drugs, rock and roll, and free love was on full display. Some of the scenes in this movie probably seem cliche now, but remember, this thing came out in 1969, and it wasn't some pandering exploitation flick either. Sure, Wyatt and Billy seem to be living the ideal hippie dream, removing themselves from this capitalistic society that they scorn so much. But their entire trip, all of their so-called freedom, is still funded by a large drug deal, which, legal or not, is still capitalism. Their dream is only made possible by money, and plenty of it. It makes all their dreams of living a free life on the road turn to that much ash in their mouths, and the hopelessness of fighting back against the system is really symbolized by both their deaths at the end of the movie. A poignant commentary on the futility of fighting for something different when you don't even know what you want to change. We blew it. An easy writer may mean something completely different to you, and that's fine, man. That's the beauty of art. Interpretation is relative to the beholder. Well, that about wraps up the top five list of the greatest motorcycle movies of all time. Did I miss your favorite one? Most assuredly. We all remember the very first time we saw a motorcycle in a movie or on TV and thought to ourselves, damn, that's cool. For you, it might have been a television commercial, it might have been a race, it might have been a Saturday morning cartoon. Hell, it might have even been YouTube. We were all in a different place when motorcycles first piqued our curiosity, and saying that one is better than the other is absolutely ridiculous. This elitist attitude that some people have about getting into bikes for the right reasons is total horseshit. Whatever got you into bikes, in my eyes, that's a good thing, because that means one more of us on the road and one less of them. So make sure to tell me how you first got interested in motorcycles down in the comments section below, and leave me your own personal top pick for a greatest movie motorcycle of all time. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. Huge thanks as always to all my Patreon supporters. This channel would not be possible without you. And if you want to participate in the voting for my next list video, make sure that you're following me either on Facebook or Instagram. Links to both of those in the description down below. Till next time, y'all, keep it weird. Uh, I'm P.S. Just because I like pissing people off, I purposely didn't talk about the world's fastest Indian. It's a great movie to be sure, but the way that the scenester crowd tends to latch onto that flick and wear their love for it like a badge of honor on their sleeve just really annoys the crap out of me. So if you made it this far, go ahead and peruse that comment section for the deluge of fanboys who are frothing at the mouth because I didn't talk about the world's fastest Indian. They'll probably also be bitching about On Any Sunday and The Long Way Round. Check it out. I think World's Fastest Indian is a great movie. I really do. It's amazing. And so are the other ones. I just like having my fun. Okay, for real this time. Keep it weird, y'all. <laughs>